What's up everyone, welcome back to another Stronghold Crusader AI 1v1. Today we are going to do the Pig versus the Emir, which was a request that I received. And let's go ahead, get right on into it here. So we haven't really seen a whole lot of Pig uh, from the tournament. Mainly because my first video of Pig versus the Emir actually got corrupted. It might have been Pig versus Caleb actually. Um, no, it might have been Amir. I'd, I'd have to go back and look. All I know is that the Amir or Kalef did win that first time around, but the game was insanely long with a very incredible defense from Pig, is all I have to say there. And with the community patch, Pig's kind of been nerfed, I would have to say. It's, it's, he's not nearly as good as what he used to be. But it is looking like he is on an early offensive here. Able to get some poking done. Assassin's coming through. But yeah, heavy nerf for Big. We see that he really just has his one main tower and a little bit more of a maze of a castle. Uh, early fire here for the Emir. Could be over quickly. That is devastating to the eco. As we can see, all of his buildings here are out of production. Fire Ballista is going straight up to the king, finally able to stop that, but it very well could be over. Holding all of his resources and they all burn to death, does have his uh, fountains working here, but has taken quite a hit. Here we go, another attack from the Emir, a solid attack here could end the pig, and here it goes. And there, there it is. I'm going to say it's over. Already absolutely trampled by the Emir. Really unfortunate um, how this worked out. I thought this game would be a little bit longer than a few minutes. But, you know, if it, if it ends here, we'll go ahead and we'll hop right into it. Right into a second game here. I'll, I'll switch their positions. Um, see if that has any bearing on, on the play that we get. Oh yeah, the Emir is just trampling and then the entire time has a pretty solid eagle able to build up some gold and it is about to be over. So I changed his opponent to Marshall uh, simply because I just watched another Emir game right after we just saw Emir absolutely wreck Pig and uh, it happened again. I had their position switched and Pig built not this castle. Something kind of similar that was had all of his buildings on this side again, and um, Amir lit him on fire, part two. And so I, I kind of came to the conclusion that Amir is better. So now we're going to watch, see the pig take on a Marshall. I think someone is a little bit more towards his skill level. Um, we know that Marshall's defenses aren't, aren't the greatest, but he's got a lot of like good troops that he can definitely fend off those macemen. Kind of the things that I was mentioning about Pig during the last Amir, which you guys won't see, was that um, he has Siege in his tower now, which is lovely to see, and he should have had it, I think, in the original game. Unfortunately, they cut down his towers. You can see he's super exposed in this front left side here, and it's, uh, it's, it's, a, big, it's a big problem. Big problem for every game, and I think that's just the, the castle AIV that I am using. You know, if, if you guys would like me to try out different castle AIVs, I just ended up liking this the best because it changed the castles the most. I mean, you know, when you, when you play the game since you're five years old, you, you like a change. That is a lot of knights to raid. Wow. Didn't do as much damage as I thought. The crosswomen are obviously doing quite good. Um, this could be a longer game, and between these two opponents, I really don't know what to tell you. I think, I think we're going to see better attacks from Marshall and probably better defense from Pig. Looks like Marshall's barely surviving with that population, or isn't surviving. Oh no, he is. He just gets one in immediately. Yeah, I, I couldn't tell you who who is going to win this. Marshall, poor defense all around. The Pig... Good defense, but just he's gonna be attacked with macemen. I just I think it depends how much damage he really does with his siege, as we're seeing now. 
manages to light all of the marshal's cast on fire. Ballista's taking down knights up front. That's devastating. That is extremely devastating. Wow. I'm not sure the marshal's going to recover. There he goes, throwing in another attack. Pig always spending as much money as he can in the attacks. Blown up quite quickly here. Pig is kind of destroying the marshal here. It's nice, nice to see that. You can see now that he does. He has stacked some crossbows on defense. That's nice to see. Honestly, stacking him more than Wolf ever has. So, <laughs> can't complain there. Kind of crazy though to think about how the first time I saw him play against the Amir is how well he held off, and then how fast he died twice in a row too. But now it's just absolutely decimating, uh, absolutely decimating. Marshall here, he's holding on for dear life, has managed to reestablish a lot of his eco, but really. Is no odd up where anywhere near up and running has no defense, no archers continuously losing these front towers. That's not it's not looking good. I don't know. He hasn't he's not attacking, so he's not building troops. He's not building up troops where I think the pig is kinda hitting this full stride here, something that we really haven't seen a whole lot because we just kind of watch him lose. But look at this. Enough gold to just push siege and harass. I believe the marshal is up to full economy again. Maybe he has still some stables to place down. Maceman's starting to get up there. Not messing around at all. Double ballistas up here that aren't part of the actual siege, so they shouldn't dissipate. Marshal not able to send out any knights. There goes another fire. I think we are going to be seeing the end of the marshal rather soon. This is going to destroy, maybe. Lost the rest of his stables. Those are so expensive to replace. I want to say that's like 300 gold. It's quite a bit of gold. I think we can check here. 400 gold for one stable has lost his entire back line of stables. That was kind of Marshall's big advantage, I wanted to say, were, were the knights that he gets. It's just not happening. And here goes Pig with just another attack. Just brutal. Look at that. Climbs up the ladder. And there he goes down. Had ladders. Go down and was able just to rush the king. And the pig has won. So I guess uh, the request here was that we watch some more pig games. Uh, we've seen pig against two more lords, and I'm going to go ahead and jump us into a, a third match with pig. All right, and our last game is going to be pig versus nazir, um, simply because both these <laughs> lords here have gotten such a big nerf with this community patch that I was just generally interested to see who was better. We haven't seen them play yet at all. It looks like the exact same castle from Ping that we saw last game just simply flipped. Um, this was a castle he did really well with, so interesting to see how this does. Nazir loves his fire, should be able to handle those macemen. Um, get, gets a lot of front ballista. Is not ready for the early attack, though. He definitely has a very inefficient castle here, having to have all his peasants come out this way. This game could be over really quickly. I don't know, I guess, I guess we would have to see. Looks to be surviving the early game against Pig. That's a lot of pressure, though. Not really allowing him to get up at all. I don't want to say this is the end. <laughs> but it's definitely not looking looking good. There they go. Maceman all started on fire, though. 
We love to see that. See how these archers push down. He needs to kill these really badly. He's not going to be able to get really anything going until that happens. And I think a majority of his money that he's spending is on pitch. I get nervous every time I see that fire go. And some more macemen in, all died to pitch. This fire is keeping him alive. One more ballista left here. And before Nazir could possibly start getting up and running, is able to deal with the raids. Would love to see him put an archer in this tower here. Maybe that could possibly get going. Um, just pushing more stuff. Pig, probably looking really good on this side. Oh, yes, he is. He's got archers. He's got crossbowmen for days. This is kind of what I was thinking too earlier, is that if the Nazir ever decide to throw attacks, I mean, he throws mainly assassins and... Oh, crossbow men handle assassins quite well because assassins aren't the most tanky. Let me correct that. <laughs> crossbow men in numbers handle it quite well. Because the assassin makes it to a crossbow man, it's, it's over. Here we go, another attack. Fire again, keeping him alive. Is surviving, is holding on, has not been able to get up and running. And looks like he did destroy some of his production buildings to possibly stay alive. I think Nazir here is, is done. He's going to fall off. So just really holding on for dear life here. I think as soon as he runs out of money for pitch, which might be any time, because Pig's going to run right through there and straight to his king. Here it comes. And there it goes. Pig defeated Nazir quite easily. Defeated Marshall quite easily. Definitely not as weak as I originally thought. It's another quick game for us. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw us even into one more. I'm going to give him a little bit harder of opponent. Maybe not to Amir's level, but definitely someone who I think should beat him. Alright, and our last opponent is going to be Lionheart. Interested to see a powerful attack come up against a very powerful defense with those crossbows. Interesting castle from Pig. Haven't seen this one before in this position. Interested to see how it works out for him. His buildings aren't totally exposed. Big towers on the wrong side though. This Meganel could be able to crossfire eventually. Not as early as someone wanted. Early attack from Lionheart as always something he does. Pretty basic Lionheart castle. <laughs> Anytime I post Lionheart, I get a lot of comments about these round Arabian towers that he now gets and how you don't like it. Um, I totally agree with you. They look absolutely devastating on Lionheart's castle. That's a big no-no. Should, should, shouldn't have did that. Possibly going to have to change my AIV just for that simple fact alone. Pretty powerful attack here coming from... Coming from Lionheart, Pig able to defend. He just needs to get some crossbows up in those towers. Lionheart coming again with another attack. Is able to just gun him down, not not letting him get set up. He really just needed a little bit more crossbows. He's trying. We can see that. A um, little bit of a fire here. He's got crossbows now. Those ballistas are devastating him. He needs to get those down and done. Has managed to do that, but it is going to be a very defensive game, it's looking like. Already a death message from Pig, even though he's got a substantial amount of crossbows now. Able to get up and running, just needs to take care of Lionheart's siege. That'll be a lot better. Still has wood, so he doesn't, shouldn't have to buy it. Able to push some siege of his own forward. Hopefully combat that. Lionheart, we see, is in full swing. Having no problems here. Very efficient castle right here. All of his resources is able to go right in. 
His attacks are only going to get bigger. Nice to see Pig with a lot of crossbow, man. He's going to need even more. And these ones in the tower are going to go down. That is unfortunate. Lucky for Pig, he's got quite a bit of walls. I'm thinking he can survive for a little bit yet here. That's a lot of harass and another attack. Really just not messing around, Lionheart is hammering him. Attack after attack, that is a lot of archers. What? Where did he get those? What? What did he do for that? I'm full blown confused. Okay. Pig able to bail himself out. See how long it lasts. Lionheart's only building up. Every attack gets bigger. Pig trying for some kind of harass here. Absolutely decimated by that Maganel though in the tower. Also that Ballista backing it up. And here we go. Another attack coming in from Lionheart. Pig has nothing in his tower. He should recall these archers ASAP. I don't think he has. Oh, he has gold. There he goes. To buy. I don't know if it's going to be enough. I don't think it's going to be enough. It is not enough. I guess we really have seen uh, the pig declare himself as a, as a medium lord again, able to decimate both the Nazir and the Marshal, but did horrible against the Emir twice, and then also Lionheart. I I don't really know who to, who to put him against. That would, that would really be his, his equal, kind of top of the tier. We already watched him versus Philip, and he lost. Um, and until... Philip was kind of the, the top of the easy tier lords. So really, don't know <laughs> who to put him up against where he either, you know, gets decimated or does really well. But as always, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the, the pig con content. And next we are looking at uh, Frederick versus the Emir, as well as Abbott versus Abbott. So those are the last two 1v1 videos that I will be doing. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and get right on into this 2v2 tournament. I'm working on setting that up right now. So see you next time.